Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double unto the apostles, the bishop and elders, a great millstone, and peace and salutations unto the elect, which starts with the 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior is Yahweh Shai. And they are the power of the Israelites. And today they will be the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. And also you speckleberry Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and blood line goes back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson. The Lord will is edify and exhorting. And I want to focus on faith in this lesson because faith is a gift that was given from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And truly, through faith, we have spiritual power. Okay? We have spiritual power through faith. And that's what I want to touch on in this lesson. All right? Because the Lord is going to help us according to our faith. Right? And. I'm going to read this, the scripture that inspired this lesson because we brought it earlier on the line when we were at camp, okay? And um, it's so true, man, because the Lord is going to help us according to the ability of what we believe in him, man. And as the scriptures say, right, the Lord is the power. Let me just read it, all right? This is Jeremiah. Chapter 32, verse 27. And it reads, Behold, I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And there's nothing too hard for the Lord. Okay? There's no rock in a hard place that, or a situation we could find ourselves in that his hand is too short to save. The Lord can save us out of any predicament and raise us up at any given moment in time according to his will. Okay, and that's the power of the Lord. There's nothing too complicated or situation that's too hard for our Lord. So the question is, what do we expect in the Lord? Do we expect the Lord to do great things in these days? Or do we expect less of the Lord? Right? Because the Lord told many, he said, according to your faith, let it be done. Right? So it says, Psalm 33 and 20, it says, our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, right? And his power in the name of the Lord is power in belief. Because as it is written, it said, all men have not faith. Faith is a gift. Faith is given from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and also the fear of the Lord is given from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It tells you that in Sirach, the first chapter. Okay? The fear of the Lord was created with the faithful in the womb. Right? But see, the elect, they have certain attributes that's already inside of them. Right? And through this word, in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, it draws out the attributes, man. Okay? It says, 21, for our heart shall rejoice in him. Because we have trusted in his holy name. And what comes along with the name of the Lord? Well, it comes along with a reputation. That the Lord doesn't change. You see? That he's a man that's impossible. That he cannot lie. He the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we have strong confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because of the things that's written aforetime was written for our learning. You see? Now, let us read that. That's the reason we look in the generation of old and see. Okay? These things were written for our ammunition in this time. Okay? It say uh, Romans 15 to 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. See? 
that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. See, in reading these accounts of old gives us hope. Okay? It inspires us. It exhorts us. You see? That's why it's always good to constantly read, to constantly go over the love letter. You know? Constantly go back and read the generations of old. To constantly refresh our mind and say, look, nobody that trusted in the Lord was ever confounded. All right? So rock 2 and 10. It said, look at the generations of old and see. And what we look at the generation of old and see? By going back into the history. You know, going back into the accounts. How the Lord delivered us out of Egypt. You know? How the Lord fed 5,000 with a, 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 a two loaves and a fish. Right? How he multiplied the bread. How the Lord saved Peter out of uh, uh, out of jail. You know? All the deliverance that the Lord did for those that feared him, man. Those things give us strong confidence in the name of the Lord. Right? They say, look at the generation of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? They say, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful, and forgive of sins, and saveth in time of affliction. All right? And once again, when we go back to the generation of old, time and time after again, we've seen the miracles of the Lord, man. We've seen the Lord come through for those that truly had the fear. Right? We've seen it time and time again. The Lord has never forsaken the righteous. All right? And he's not going to do it in this time for those that believe in his holy name. Right? But going back to Psalm 33 and 22, it says, Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh Hashem and our Shai, be upon us according as we hope in thee. And this one inspired the lesson, man. It said, according as we hope in thee. Let's hit this word hope, right? The word is yachal, 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 right? It says to wait, hope, expect. You see, what do we expect from the Lord? Okay, strong definition. It says uh, to wait by implication to be patient, hope, cause to have, make to hope, be pain, stay, tarry. Trust, wait. But this is what I wanted right here. What do we expect from the Lord, man? What is our expectation of Yahweh about Shimei Awashai? Do we believe that the Lord can save us from the things that we're prophesying about that's going to come upon this earth? Or is it too hard for the Lord? You see? I just want the word expect up in the um, online etymology. Expect as a verb, it says to wait, defer action, um, await, look out for. It says desire, hope, long for, anticipate, look for with anticipation. It says um, anticipate, look forward to. Right, what do we look forward to? We're looking forward to be saved. We're looking forward to you. How about she may I was trying to come through with miracles. Okay, that's our hope. I'm going to read it again. Psalm 33 and 22. It says, Let thy mercy, O Lord, and how about she may our shy be upon us according as we hope in thee. You see? So we got to, hey, the Lord, hey, it's nothing too hard for the Lord, man. There's nothing the Lord can't do. So once again, it says, as it says, as we hope in thee, what do we hope the Lord for? Is it big miracles or is it small miracles? Okay, because we're going to need the Lord every step of the way, even now, and leading, leading into the, the hard times. Right? And I want to read this. Okay, when Yahweh Shai healed the blind man. It says, Matthew 9 and 27. And when Yahweh Shai departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. 
They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be slacky. I'm reading read again. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. You see? So at the end of the day, the Lord said, According to your faith. Right? I'm going to read that verse 29 and implement the Amplified Version, right? Verse 29, it said, Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, your trust and confidence in my power and my ability to heal, it will be done to you. You see? So we trust and have confidence in the Lord's power. Right? Did not Yahweh Shai? Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai? Did not he say this? In Galatians 6 and 10? Salakia. Ephesians 6 and 10. Salakia. It says... It's, look at that, the armor of the Most High. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You see? And that's where our confidence comes from. In the name of the Lord, his reputation. Knowing that there's nothing too hard for you, Yahweh Hashem Shai. And for those who believe in Yahweh Hashem Shai, in these days, miracles are going to happen for them, man. Things un unexplainable because they believe in the power of of your how about Shimei how was shy, man? All right. So at the end of the day, we have power. It's faith. Having this faith is power, man. Because once again, faith is a gift, and every man is not given faith. Okay. Faith is given from your how about Shimei how was shy. And the elect have faith, and through that faith, guess what? Miracles will happen, man. Strange things will happen that's unexplainable in these days. Okay? Because the Lord, hey, he's very merciful. And he's going to save in a time of affliction, man. So we have power in that. Hey, it's power in that faith, man. All right? So Lord, we're less than edifying and exhorting. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Kwame, Sharala, to the elect.